A Lexington woman's artwork will be the center of an auction. The paintings up for sale came from the home of Shirley Mason. Mason is the woman who inspired the book and movie Sybil. She was diagnosed with an identity disorder. And according to the book, Mason was possessed by 16 different personalities. New at 530, Rebecca Smith shows us some of Mason's artwork up for sale. Shirley Mason, also known as Sybil, died in 1998 in Lexington. These works of art recovered from her home illustrate her many personas, 16 in fact. There's Mary and Marcia and Vicki, just to name a few. Jim Ballard's been living with all of them for the last 20 years. She was brought back to individually and knew who these other cells were by Dr. Wilbur, and then when she knew who these other cells were, then she could tell who, who did them. A good number of these paintings have not been signed off on, and the reason for that, surely, if she could not remember starting or finishing a painting like this one, she wouldn't sign it. Many thought Shirley was just an art teacher who lived in Lexington. After following her therapist to town in 1974, she lived in obscurity, never telling people who she really was. But people would make fun of her, probably. I imagine, you know, she just wanted to keep her identity secret and live a nice, quiet life and, and put her art there for people that, uh, that loved art. But the auction company selling her 80 some paintings says Shirley's story is very much a part of these works of art. And I think that's what makes this collection so unique, is you can't really define her or her art based on an individual piece. You really need to look at the collection and again, think about what speaks to you and why. Of parting with his collection, Jim says it's just time. Well, they've been all over the United States. We've had them out in California and New York and Florida. And in Lexington, Rebecca Smith, WKYT. The auction runs until Monday night. For a link, go to our website, WKYT.com.